Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hardik and in this video, we'll be learning about Android Fragments. We'll be making a simple app to help us understand the implementation and we'll also learn how to pass parameters to the fragments. Now let's take a look at this example app. We have one activity here and when we click the buttons at the bottom, only the middle section of the activity changes. And this middle section has its own layout as well as logic that is your Kotlin or Java code. So in simple words, a fragment is a part of an activity with its own logic and layout. Alright, let's make this. Open Android Studio and click on create new project. Choose empty activity and hit next. Write the project name as Android Fragment Example language as Kotlin and click OK. Alright, now that we have our basic Android project, let's go to the activity underscore main XML file and create the main activity layout. Delete the text view in the middle. From the palette, insert a button and edit text view. Select both, right click and from chains, click on create horizontal chain. Constrain both to the top and we'll give each of them a top margin of 10 dp. Give the edit text an ID of enter name. We'll use this ID to access it from our code. Remove the text property and type hint as enter name. Next give the button an ID of send name to profile btn. Now let's put three buttons at the bottom. These would be our home, profile and setting buttons. Select the three and create a horizontal chain and then constrain them to the bottom. Give them an ID of home BTN, profile BTN and setting BTN and set their text to home, profile and setting. Now go to the palette and from layouts select frame layout. Constrain the frame layout like this and then set the height and width to match constraints. Now give the frame layout an ID of body fragment. We'll later use this ID in our code to replace the frame layout with our fragments. Alright we are done with the main layout. Now let's create the fragments. Go to File, New, Fragment, Fragment Blank. Write the name as Home Fragment and click Finish. In the Home Fragment Kotlin file, we'll delete all this extra code that we don't need. And just as we did for this Home Fragment, we'll create the Profile and Setting Fragments. Okay, we now have all the three fragments. Now let's create their layout. Open the fragment home XML file and delete this text view. We'll change this frame layout to constraint layout. Give this constraint layout an ID of home fragment. Add a text view to this and set the text to home fragment. Constrain it horizontally to the parent. Now add a button to the layout and constrain it horizontally to the parent. Next select both these items and create a vertical chain. Give the button an ID of home page btn. Now select the text view and give it a text size of 30 sp. Now look for the background property and set it to your favorite color. I'm gonna set it to green. Okay, we are done with the home layout. Now open the profile fragment layout. Change the frame layout to constraint layout and delete this text view. Give this constraint layout an ID of profile fragment. We'll give this a nice blue background. 
Now for this profile page, we are going to add an image to our drawables folder. You can add an image you like. Now add an image view with this image to the layout. Now add a text view and a button to the layout. Constrain them like this. Next, set the text view text property to profile fragment. Set the text size to 30 SP and then chain it vertically. Give the button an ID of profile page BTN. Next, we'll add one more text view to this layout. This is where we'll display the name that we will pass to the fragment as argument. We give this an ID of name text view, set the text property to name and set the text size to 20 SP. Ok, profile fragment done. Let's go to the setting layout. Again, delete this text view and change the frame layout to constrain layout. Give it an ID of setting fragment. and set the background to this nice red color. Now add a text view to the layout and constrain it horizontally and vertically to the parent. Set the text to setting fragment and text size to 40 SP. Next we'll add a button to the layout and constrain it. We'll give it an ID of setting page BTN. And with this, we are done with the layouts. Now open the main activity Kotlin file. First of all, we'll get references to our home, profile and setting button in the main layout using find view by id method. Next, we instantiate the home, profile and setting fragments. Now, when the activity is created, we want it to load the home fragment by default. To do this, we write support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot apply. We ask it to replace the frame layout with the home fragment. After this, we'll set up on click listeners for the home profile and setting button. In these on click listeners, we'll do the same as above and replace the frame layout with the corresponding fragments. So that when you click the home button, it opens the home fragment, the profile button opens the profile fragment and the setting button opens the setting fragment on click. Ok, let's run this. As you can see, when the app starts, we have the home screen and when we click these buttons, we get to the corresponding fragments. This is all well and good but the buttons and the fragments are not doing anything. So let's add on click listeners to these. Open the home fragment kotlin file and override the onView created lifecycle method. Inside this get a reference to the home page button. To do this we have to call find view by id on view that is we write view dot find view by id. Next we are going to set an onclick listener to this button and inside this we are just going to display a toast message. Let's just copy this code and put it inside the profile fragment kotlin file. We'll just change the toast text a little bit for this profile button. And we'll do the same for the setting fragment. Alright, let's run this. So as you can see, each screen has their own layout and their own logic going on. Alright, so far so good. Only one last thing remaining. Uh, when we enter a text inside the edit text input field, 
and hit the send name to profile button. It should open the profile fragment with the text set to the specified text view. Now open the main activity Kotlin file. Get a reference to edit text and send name to profile button using find view by ID. Next, set an on click listener to the send to profile button. In this, we first get the input text from the edit text. Next, we bundle the data that we want to send to the fragment as a key value pair. After this, we set this bundle equal to the fragment arguments. And after this, like before, we call the fragment manager and ask it to replace the body fragment, which is the frame layout, with this profile fragment. Now open the profile fragment Kotlin file. Get the reference to the name text view. Extract the name from the fragment arguments. And if the name is not null, we set the text property of this text view to this name. Alright, let's give this a final run. Let's put some text here. And as you can see, the text appears on the profile fragment. And so there you have it. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you want this in a little bit more detail, you can check out my blog. I'll put the link in the description. Alright guys, thanks and I'll see you in the next one.